Now, by now, you surely should have already done that Pogel exercise on ionic compounds, and you should have discovered for yourself what is an ionic compound. All right, but I'm going to review it here quickly for you. Um, so, in order to have an ionic compound, you have to have a cation and an anion. And a cation is formed uh, in this way. The, um, for example, this is a model of a sodium atom. And the model is, in this case, is showing us a, it has 11 protons in the nucleus, and then this is like the sea of electrons um, that are around the atom. All right, there's 11 of them. And, or these are the, excuse me, I shouldn't say C. These are the electrons um, in the particular regions around that particular nucleus. There's a total of 11 of them. Um, and what happens when the sodium uh, atom becomes a sodium ion is that one electron leaves um, the, the sphere that is the atom, okay? And if, since the number of protons equals the number of electrons in a neutral atom, as soon as you lose one electron, then your atom is no longer going to be neutral. If you only have 10 electrons and 11 protons, the overall um, ion is going to have a plus one charge. And so you end up with something that's positively charged called a sodium ion. Um, for a chlorine atom, it normally has 17 protons and 17 electrons. What happens when the ion is formed is that the chlorine picks up one electron to form what's called the chloride ion. And it has a minus one charge. So it now has 18 electrons and 17 protons. Notice the name change, chlorine atom, chloride ion. Whenever an anion is formed, the elemental name changes, and the suffix I-D-E is added to it. Okay, And so um, this is an example. Now, in order to form a sodium ion, there has to be some place for that electron to go. All right, if the electron is going to leave, the electron has to go somewhere. And so what happens when these ionic compounds are formed is, for example, a metal will be brought next to a nonmetal, and the, um, the metal will tend to lose an electron to form a cation. The nonmetal will pick up those electrons to form an anion, and then opposites attract, and the cation and the anion will cling together um, in clusters to form what's called ionic compounds.